After another successful year of making horror shorts, we made our final film and it turned out great. There's so much to talk about, so I'm going to take you through how we made our short film, The Milkman. While working on our previous short, Withered, I visited a shop to find an old shovel, and while at the store I stumbled upon this lovely 50s toy called the Peepscope. This store had some incredible vintage items, and as I walked through the store I pieced together the main plot points which were the comic book aspect and the milkman. Something that makes this film so visually appealing and artistic to us is the mix of mediums. Having the artwork done by our cryptic voice actor Coulter Rail enhanced the visuals of the film by so much, and a huge shout out goes to Coulter for being able to be our voice actor and artist all at once. I'm Coulter Rail. I drew the Milkman panels on, um, on a Wacom tablet using Adobe Animate. Vincent steered me in the direction of comic strips from the 20s and 30s. The stylings of George McManus were perfect. His character's pupilless eyes are already unnerving. I tried to stay strict to the side-scrolling comic strip format while our Milkman is going about his plucky deliveries. And then, as the narrative turns to a poisoning and a mob chase, I began using more modern techniques, like fisheye perspectives in the background, to make the progression subconsciously upsetting until we're left with a truly grim image. As we moved on to the comic strip, meshing with the real world, the challenges were definitely upped. Vincent sent storyboards and photos of the home interior, and then I tried to recreate them in that comic style. Vincent and I are about a thousand miles apart, so this final scene was made possible by a lot of communication and sending material back and forth. To see it link together and click and deliver a jolt to the viewers, that was something special. I love getting all the comments and messages asking how we did the milkman truck, and it turned out to be way more simple than I actually thought. Obviously, getting a real 50s milk truck would be nearly impossible for our budget, so I decided to try out miniatures for the first time. I shot the truck itself in front of a green screen, which is a 187th scale model. I keyed out the truck, added a bunch of rain elements, lens flares, camera lens blur, and of course all the background shots, and the final shot is pretty awesome. Now, onto the lighting. Hey guys, I'm Preston, the gaffer for BHP. From the very beginning, we had a clear vision of how we wanted this film to look. We wanted to use pale blue tones because we felt that it would best match the milkman's cold demeanor. In this film, we used the most lights we ever had in a BHP horror short, thanks to Luis Marin, who came in clutch with bringing in extra equipment. In order to get the nighttime look in the house, we put five lights outside, one or two in each window, then we used some smaller LED lights inside to fill in any space that we needed to see more clearly, which in most cases is the actor's face. I had a blast helping create the look and feel of the milkman, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. The amount of detail in this short is pretty impressive compared to our other ones, and it really goes down to every window showing the rain coming down. I achieved this by tracking the windows whenever needed for a moving shot, and adding the rain in through luma mats and after effects, and it really added to the atmosphere. Having every area of the house lit really helped me on the camera because I didn't have to restrict myself on what I could show in the shot, and everything turned out so much better thanks to this. The awesome props were made by my mom, Ginny Dormani, who always does such a great job. She made these really gross bottles out of brand new bottles that she stained and gave this really nice rustic look. She also made the Milkman costume and attached the logos to it. And last but not least, she made the nasty milk, and we actually had to wait until the day of to make it. Despite it looking nasty, it actually had like a lemony smell to it, so it wasn't that bad. The score was done by Frank who once again killed it. He used a mix of beautiful melancholy orchestral sounds mixed with a very tense brass for the chase scene, and it all enhanced the film so much. I know I keep on saying it, but so many things in this film were enhanced due to the amazing cast and crew that we had for this, and we really just put our all into this, making sure it came out as best as possible. And I think on all aspects, this is our most impressive film yet. Working on this one was by far our all-time favorite to work on, and I know I say that a lot, but this time, I really mean it. We all enjoyed it so much, and 2023 is going to be our year for BHP because we have so much planned, so please stay tuned for all that's to come. 
Happy New Year, and just beware, BHP is taking over.